What's going on guys, my name is Omega and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So in today's video, we're actually going to be taking a look at some of the weaker legends in Apex. I'm going to be showing you guys some buff concepts for how to make them better in the future. Now, the first legend we're going to start with might be a surprise to some of you guys, but that is going to be for Caustic. Now, the reason why we're talking about Caustic, and I, I think he used to be really good, but after his most recent nerfs where they nerfed his damage for his gas, he's definitely been underplayed and he's definitely an underwhelming legend to go against because most of the time you can just sit inside his gas and not have to worry about anything from the season 9 ama daniel klein actually made a comment saying we're thinking about what to do with caustic we could just up the damage on his gas again maybe find an in-between point where he's okay but i want us to spend some time thinking of non-damage outputs we could use on the gas the goal is that people should be terrified of it and try to leave asap that's currently not the case and we will fix it so one idea i had obviously you know developers don't really want to just you know increase the damage of his gas again considering that that it did so much damage before and it was definitely in an overpowered state. I think adding some kind of debuff after you're sitting inside the gas for a certain amount of time would work, potentially having a healing debuff so as soon as you enter the gas and start getting damaged by it, maybe then you heal 10 to 15% less for a certain amount of time. This would basically just make it so that people can't sit inside his gas and do whatever the hell they wanted. However, if they do decide to buff his damage again, I think this idea made by a guy named Mr. Mirage on Reddit would work really well. Currently has almost 16 thousand upvotes and he basically made an idea for how caustic's gas is diffused and how that diffusion actually deals damage so in his concept as you guys can see he has this giant circle with some inner circles inside it basically this would be the amount of damage that is dealt depending on how close you are to his gas so basically the damage of his gas would depend on how close or how far away you actually are to it and he even said this is technically logical as gas disperses from a high concentration to a low concentration so so lots of people in the community do like this idea. I'm sure Caustic fans would be happy to get at least some kind of increased damage back to his gas. Now, next up, we're going to talk about Fuse, who was released in Season 8 and personally, I believe, is one of the more underwhelming legends that has come out in the past. Uh, Fuse recently got a buff in Season 9 where he now has two stacks of his active ability, which definitely helped him out a little bit, but I still think he needs a couple more changes. Uh, one of the more common buff concepts that I've seen for Fuse is to allow him to take less damage from explosives and you know while this would make sense for his character considering he is like an explosives expert I don't think it would drastically change anything about the power of his kit one of the biggest problems with fuse in my opinion is just the inconsistency of his ultimate his ultimate when in the, like the perfect situation does an extreme amount of damage but there's currently so many legends that can get out of it Wraith can just go into the void and run right through it octane can run out of it before it lands pathfinder can grapple out Loba can teleport out Valkyrie can now even just hover over the fire and it literally does nothing to her. Now, one idea to fix this issue is to make a smaller ring of fire inside his ultimate just so people can't sit inside of it and chill and wait for the ultimate to be over. This guy on Reddit named Rio is Creator had a pretty good buff idea that actually got around 23,000 upvotes. As you guys can see right here, this is what the ultimate looks like normally. His idea is to just kind of make an X inside that circle where fire will go across. And basically, this would just make it so that enemies can't sit inside of the middle of the ring i would also love to see like the walls of his ultimate be raised higher just so we can fix that issue of like valkyrie using her uh hover to get out of the ultimate or pathfinder trying to grapple out i think legend should take at least a little bit damage when inside fuses ultimate it seems way too easy to counter you could even make it where after a legend is burned and they're running away they could leave behind like a trail of fire that wouldn't do any extra damage to the legend it's burning but would cause other areas of the map to light on fire therefore spread his ultimate a little bit more naturally but let me know what you guys think about fuse i know he's probably going to be getting a lot of work in the near future so crypto is the next legend we're going to be talking about he's been in a really weird spot the last couple of seasons i've honestly been expecting him to get so many buffs that he hasn't actually received we do have a comment here from robobob one of the senior game designers from the ama saying in terms of crypto we look at legends as a whole and not necessarily just the passive or tactical in a vacuum he's saying pathfinder does well in arenas despite there being no survey being Beacons, and he also said he has his eye on crypto and is considering some changes for how to help him out a little bit. Now, keep in mind while they're talking about arenas, developers have said that any changes they make to Legends will be in both Battle Rail and Arenas. They're not just going to do changes for one game mode, it's going to be for both of them. So this does mean that crypto is probably going to be getting some kind of buff in the near future. Now, one of the biggest issues I have with crypto is how all of his abilities require him to be out of the fight. 
When throwing your drone, you have to manually put it in the place you want it to be, and doing this before a fight wastes a huge amount of time, and I think Respawn should really consider making it so that Crypto can throw his drone to a specific location. This would allow him to be able to push with his team while his drone is scanning the surrounding area, and he would also still have the option to take manual control if he needed to make smaller adjustments. They could also take an idea from the Season 3 trailer, where you can actually see Crypto's drone following him as he's running around the map. I think this would also not only make him more fun to play, but would give his kit more utility as he has better access to his abilities while in a fight. Now, Revenant is up next. We're not going to really talk about him too much because we already know that developers are working on some kind of buff for him. Daniel Klein did mention in the Legacy AMA that they're probably going to be giving him some kind of increased climbing for his passive, whether that means he's going to be getting unlimited climb, faster climb, or like some combination of the two. Now, while this would be an obvious change, I think Revenant also needs some adjustments to his hitbox. He currently has the third largest hitbox in the game, and unlike Gibraltar and Caustic, he does not currently have Fortified. Now, while I don't think Revenant should get Fortified because it doesn't really make much sense for his character, I do think he might need some hitbox adjustments just to make them a little bit smaller. It would definitely give him a lot more survivability in fights because right now it just seems like he gets melted by any weapon just because of his size. We also have a pretty simple buff concept posted to Reddit by a guy named Zamerik. Basically, his idea was just to let Revenant hang on to walls while he was climbing. I think this would either work really well or it literally would not serve any purpose at all because when you think about it in Titanfall 2, like where this ability came from, you weren't actually able to aim down sights, so it was mainly just a way to get a better view on the people. But if they are going to be giving Revenant some kind of infinite climbing, I think this could work in some situations. I mean, I don't think it would be anything that would really like put his kit to the next level, but if all they're doing is just a simple passive change, maybe adding something like a wall hang would make him a little bit more fun to play. And finally, the last legend that we'll be talking about today is going to be Rampart. Now, from the Season 9 AMA, developers did say that they are working on changes for Rampart, but they've not talked about any specifics because they don't know if these changes will actually work. Now, this leads me to believe that they're probably making some big changes for a kit. I have talked about in the past some of my personal ideas for Rampart. I think Rampart's passive should first off also be applied to sniper rifles, excluding the Kraber, of course, because that would be way too overpowered. So giving her some increased reloading speed as well as some extra ammo when using snipers I think would definitely help her out a lot. Another idea I've seen, and I really don't know if this would ever work, but I think it's something that at least should be tested, is to be able to detach Sheila, which is her ultimate, and walk around with it. So my idea, at least for this specific concept, would be when Sheila is detached, you would have decreased movement speed and would not be able to slide or climb. Sheila would also have limited ammo, and then after the ammo runs out, you would have to drop the turret and go back to your regular weapon. This would give Rampart a little bit more mobility when using her ultimate. Obviously it wouldn't be a lot more because she would still be slowed, but she also just wouldn't be stuck to one specific location. And I've shown you guys a bunch of concepts for Rampart. This is actually a new one created by a guy named DV the All over on Reddit. Currently it has around 12,000 upvotes and basically this would be a rework for Rampart's tactical. So in the description it says if Rampart suffers from lack of mobility, then let her be better at holding a position. Position. Rampart can now spend a charge from her tactical to fortify an existing amped cover. Each upgrade provides slightly more health to the structure. He says the level 2 amped cover adds small amped cover walls to the sides as well as a crossbar preventing climbing over the main front wall and you can walk through the side walls. And then level 3, it says extends the side walls and increases their angle. An amped cover ceiling is added to provide cover from above. Two teammates can now mount their weapons on the front wall for reduced recoil. So so I personally think this is a really cool idea. You know, if developers are looking at big changes for Rampart, adding something like this that would just make her better at being a defensive legend, I think would work really well. But anyways, let me know your guys' feedback down in the comments below if you guys have any extra ideas on buff concepts for legends who are currently weak in Apex. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, and I will see you guys all on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.